Good morning. Welcome to King of Titan Racing. Today, I'm testing the new Corvette Stingray right here in Malibu, California. Now, first disclosure, please forgive the hair. It did look okay when I left the hotel this morning, but after 50 miles of convertible and canyon driving, this is what I'm left with. So that's probably the only negative I have about the car. There's maybe, maybe one more. But before we get into any of that and the huge list of positives, let's go for a drive. Now I'm out in Tuna Canyon, Malibu, and this is a fantastic bit of windy road. You drive up through the hills, you get used to it going really nice and slow, and then you get down to the canyon road to have a bit more fun. And this particular run happens to be one way after I go through these gates, which means I get to really enjoy all of the road. Let's go. Everything to the max. That's what we want to see. I think one of the things I love about LA is that in the evening you can be in a rooftop bar overlooking a city in a jacket, blazer, having a great time and have an amazing glass of wine. Lovely evening. And just like you can in London. Well, then the next morning, you can be out in the hills, in a convertible, winding your way through these corners, just like a Greek island. It's that perfect combination of my two favorite experiences of the best thing you can get about a city, and the best thing you can get about a hot island or coastal road. accelerator and you're you're dead if you're in the middle of the corner kind of speed like a, a Ferrari Berlinetta which everyone seems to be very scared of driving this is fantastic Something silly, just I'm trying to focus on the, on the 
the turn. God, this is a great bit of road. Nice tight one here. pretty rare on my channel for me to talk about storage and practical matters because I honestly just don't care about those things but there's a novelty here that I would like to share now it being a mid-engine car there's quite a bit of storage at the front I've got a backpack in there goes quite far deep you could get a small human in there although there is the button to release if you ever did try that 
but it's at the back where a lot of mid-engine cars do try and fit a small bit of storage or some MR2s have got a hilarious attempt at doing so. But the Corvette does this really well. I mean, it's absolutely huge about the space back here. You could easily get golf clubs in here, but then they ruin it because that's where you put the roof. So you have nothing, but you do have a beautiful big V8. And that is wonderful. Another huge positive, every vent on this car every single thing that is supposed to look like it creates airflow is real huge ventilation there along the side of it look at this these intakes on the side absolutely massive and real down here at the front real we've got coolers behind there everything is real take note european manufacturers please design wise i don't think this car has a bad angle the rear is where I was the most concerned from the photos I'd seen, but actually, I think it looks pretty great in person. Now, there's one other feature that Ferrari have stopped doing and they need to get back to, especially with the little mid-engine six-cylinder cars tucked up and away. You just can't see them. What's the point of having a big, beautiful Ferrari engine and not showing it off? Well, Corvette haven't made that mistake. Here you've got your V8 right on show for everybody to see. Admittedly, that would be a little easier to see if they'd painted the rocker cover, but any owner can do that themselves. Interior-wise, I think this is fantastic. This is actually the basic spec, the LT1. And it goes up to LT3, where you have Alcantara and things like that all the way around here. But as this comes, it's just a fun, great place to be. Now the verdict. I want one and not i want one everyone should drive it i mean i want one and if i lived here i would have one Sixty-five thousand dollars is the price as this one is on the road the lt1 what more value for money can you get for sixty-five thousand dollars about 54 grand something like that on today's money so that is a 490 horsepower 194 mile an hour mid-engined two-seater convertible call it supercar call it super sports car it's bloody fast now, will I have one in the UK? I wanted one, and that's why I got this car to drive it, so I could really experience it. And I thought, what a fantastic car to sit next to my Vantage. Unfortunately, even though we have a UK distributor, and we have them in right-hand drive, it's £120,000 by the time we can get our hands on one. Now, that is a completely different conversation. That is V8, that's new V8 Vantage money. You know, that's... A, Anything over a hundred grand, you've got a lot more options. So I think probably slightly unattainable in the UK market for what they're going to be competing against. You're talking about McLarens. You're talking about, there's lots of options in that space. You know, like the used cars, lots of stuff to drive. However, you would have one of the most unique cars in the car club. I think that's going to appeal to a lot of people. I hope we see a lot more of them because it is a great car. But sadly, I've got to give this one back. So... One last drive.